all right ladies and gentlemen what is up what is good with y'all we are here with some very 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 dumb early ass predictions for a ple that is returning back under the regime of this man triple h and that is wwe bad blood the announcement dropped uh by the time this video goes up it probably it's you guys have probably already seen the announcement all over twitter youtube TikTok, everything bad blood is coming back and it's gonna be october 5th in atlanta that's three hours away from me i'm gonna probably i'm gonna probably try to go or i'm 100 percent definitely gonna go but in this video i'm going to be dropping my very early predictions of what matches could potentially happen now i this is my opinion this is my prediction and honestly who knows when the prediction video comes around when it gets closer i'll return back to this video and see what i got right and what i got wrong so we're gonna just jump right into this video and let's just get it started bro yay so the very first card or well i wouldn't even say card one of the matches that i think honestly will end up happening at wwe's bad blood and that's starting off with good old cm punk versus drew mcintyre and now the stipulations i'm not gonna get into stipulations quite yet because we don't know what stipulations could end up happening well we could see either a first blood or hell in a cell that's two already right there out the gate but that's besides the point <clears throat> reason why i a lot of us are already obvious with this match potentially happening or happening is the obsession of drew mcintyre for cm punk is outlandish and outrageous <clears throat> excuse me and it's gone overboard it cost him his world heavyweight championship belt opportunities it cost it it cost him numerous world heavyweight championship opportunities it cost him the title at wrestlemania to, and to and to lose and to lose and get cashing on damian priest so who knows what we could end up seeing further down the road um after money in the bank and SummerSlam? what could happen and what could we see but that's one of the matches i think that could end up on this card um but you know this is very early predictions and very early on so we're gonna jump in the next match that i could possibly think that will happen and it's so obvious right now with what's going on and that is Liv morgan versus rhea ripley and if Liv is still holding on to that title by october it's probably going to be for the title most likely but if not it's still going to slap bro with all this shit with the judgment day and Liv morgan no rhea ripley being there at all like rhea rhea's coming back and when she comes back she's coming back in blood she's coming for blood no if fans or buts because Liv put Rhea on the shelf with the shoulder injury, but we also know that apparently at WrestleMania she wrestled with the shoulder injury as well too, so it may have gotten worse over time. But also too, with all the shit with Dirty Dom's shit getting involved with trying to help the other person on the other side beat Liv, but you know their little thing is going on. The Judgment Day is just slowly crumbling apart, and I feel like this match it's got so much beef and so much history and it dates back even before even like way before like way 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 beforehand like when Liv and Rhea were a tag team together as well too and they split so that's one match that I could think that will pot that's going to end up on the card as well too <clears throat> and we're and I'm going to give a third one that's going to be so obvious on this card as well too and that is Roman Reigns versus Solo Sokoa and that's going to probably most likely be either Hell in a Cell or First Blood and man yo so, Solo screwed I'm sorry Solo has Solo has literally put dug himself a big fat grave look the Bloodline 2.0 Bloodline 2.0 they they are a force to be reckoned with seriously in all honesty they are a serious force to be reckoned with but they're possibly gonna screw over jay at money in the bank apparently at some point in time i don't know or jay could end up winning at money in the bank but also too we don't know what could results can end up happening at SummerSlam if he ends up having a match with cody for the undisputed title but that's besides the point this is going to literally be roman beating the roman 
and Solo just going at it, but Roman getting his fucking hands on Solo and saying, screw you, I'm the tribal chief, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm the one that wears the Ulafala around here, I'm the head of the table, I'm taking my rightful place back. And also, too, he's getting blood for Paul Heyman, man. If you guys did not see SmackDown at one point, he put fucking the the Bloodline 2.0 put him put Paul through a damn table, bro. Who puts Paul Heyman through a table, boy? No, nobody should do that. <clears throat> but that's one thing. But also, th this whole thing with the new Bloodline, it's very interesting, and I'm enjoying every ounce of it. But man, everybody's saying once Roman returns. <clears throat> it's gonna cook but also too i have a gut feeling that at bad blood the rock might come back and slowly that'll build into going into wrestlemania because of course you know october leads into the leads into wrestlemania season in a way some way shape or form so that's another match that i see that i feel like be obvious and the last match on the card that i feel like would be very very obvious <clears throat> would be Randy Orton versus Cody Rhodes. And if you know, you know. And in all honesty, first off, the subtle hints of Randy looking at Cody's title over the course of the past couple weeks, but also too, what could happen in the future later on down the road? We could end up seeing a Randy Cody match potentially at SummerSlam, fingers crossed, or at Mania. Who knows what we could get out of that? But I feel like they their their match for ba at, at bad blood could end up being a phenomenal match but also too that history them to have with each other not only now but also too when they were in the leg when they were in legacy when they started that group of legacy randy was the one that started it but when cody was a part of it along with you know ted dibiase jr but we'll never see him we'll never see ted dibiase jr ever again but those two guys they got a lot of beef with it. They got a they got a lot of a lot of history, a lot of storytelling there within itself. Um, but man, I, <laughs> Cody, Randy, you can't you you just got it. Just speaks for itself, man. It honestly just speaks for itself in a way. Same with the of course, like I said, with Roman and Solo, it speaks for itself. All these matches just speak for itself within its within a nutshell. But one more match that I feel like what could be on this card. <clears throat> um that's a but that's just a really uh, that's just a prediction i feel like damian priest either damian priest in finn balor or seth rollins and finn balor could end up being a could be really great now first i'm gonna start with seth rollins no i'm gonna start off with damian priest and finn balor first reason being is i feel like this could happen is because of you know because of the, you know, with Finn saying that Damien has changed ever since he won the world title. Yeah, it, it, and I, I can kind of see that in a way, how Damien's changed a lot in a way from he's not the, he's not on the same level as, you know, Finn, JD, and Dom, and, and Carlito, of, of course. He's not on the same page as them. He's more on a different level because he has to keep his head on the swivel. Damien has to keep looking around 24-7, 365 to make sure, A, he doesn't get cashed on, cashed in on by somebody, and also, B, his next potential challenger and competitor for the World Heavyweight Championship belt, and that's if Priest still has it after Money in the Bank. So who knows what can end up happening in that match, but also, too, uh, the rift that's happening between Finn and Damien, it's it's ha it's literally happening. We're seeing it unfold in front of our eyes right now because Damien does not like Liv being a part of the Judgment Day, but Finn's like, oh, this is cool. I like it, da-da-da-da. But Damien's like, nah, I'm not for this. And when Finn straight up told, told him that, yeah, you know, you shouldn't have sold us out like that and that maybe, you know, you don't, you don't need us, Oh, that's that sparked that sparked something right there, honestly, on God. But I'm gonna shift gears and jump into the Seth Rollins and Finn story beef, and that could potentially be a match at Bad Blood. All I gotta say is seven. All I gotta say is SummerSlam. 
the for the WWE Universal Championship belt. That's all I got to say. And you guys know what I'm talking about, honestly, if you have watched. But if you don't, uh, well, seven years ago, now potent, now eight years ago, Seth Rollins and Finn Balor had a match for the WWE Universal Championship belt, the inaugural belt when it first came, when it first was unveiled. Finn won, but during the match when Seth uh, did a power bomb onto the um, barricade, it separated it separated Finn's shoulder, and so Finn had to well one he put that shit back in place, which was wild. But also, too, he had to rel relinquish the title the next night. So that's been in Finn's head for so long. And when they had their match last year at SummerSlam for the World Heavyweight Championship belt, Finn had seven across, like, the shoulder that was separated because of, of course, Seth. But also, too, Finn was the demon. He was demon Finn Balor eight around that time around you know that time of when uh he won the universal championship belt do we see a reappearance or do we see demon finn balor come back to get it to come back in blood and to come back and show up and beat seth i'm making so many references to bad blood because <laughs> because it's, it's it's just exciting man it's just exciting but yeah you know that's just my honest opinions and my thoughts of a very super early prediction card for bad blood um let me know what you guys think could end up happening um what other matches would you guys end up potentially seeing on this card or, or for this ple or what other storylines are brewing that could end up on this ple um <clears throat> if they somehow semi incorporate nxt in a way one match i feel like that would be for nxt worthy or semi being coming back I could see if they did a Mello versus Trick, but of course Mello being on SmackDown now and Trick still being in NXT, I don't see it happening, but I could see it happening in a way. But yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Subscribe if you're brand new to the fucking channel. Uh, road to 1,000. Road to 1K. We just got to get it going. I'm out, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace.